You know, it's pretty shocking to see the number of local business owners, contractors, home services, that types of businesses that haven't even filled out their Google business profile correctly, filled out the proper categories, fill out the proper descriptions, and just filled it out 100%. It's pretty shocking to see. And these days with the advancement of AI and simple tools like that, it's really, really quite easy to get this thing dialed in, get it all taken care of, and get it all done probably within a, an hour or two max, depending on the service or the location of where you're actually doing these services. So I'm going to share with you guys a prompt that I used to help me fill out all the proper categories and all the proper services on the Google business profile and fill out all the descriptions and fill it all out in just a few minutes and get it all taken care of. And so for this example, what I'm going to share with you guys is for a junk removal business owner that just hired me out and wants me to help them with their website, their SEO rank better on Google, especially that map listing in their location. And just by making these small adjustments, you're going to see some movement on your business profile, even within a, you know just a week or so. You're going to see just like this example right here. I just did some modifications on it, uh, changed some things around, and it's already starting to expand the reach of this business profiles listing. So before I show you guys that prompt, what you have to understand is that you have to go on your Google business profile and make sure you select the correct category for your business and add additional categories for your business too. Because the more you add, the better reach you're going to have, the more keywords you're going to get found for. You're just going to have a better business profile. And the whole idea here is make sure you select, you don't go out there and just select categories just for the sake of selecting categories. Select the categories that make sense for your business. For example, this is going to be a junk removal business owner. When I got access to his listing, the only category he had selected was junk removal service, which is fine. But if you look at the competition online for junk removal business owners, there's a bunch of other things that people select that rank that make them rank high. And just I go out there and look national on a national scale, different cities, and you can see all the different uh, categories some businesses have selected. And these are typically the ones that people select for a junk removal business owner. So for I added demolition contractor, debris removal, house clearance waste management, and garbage collection services. Now, once you've selected all these business categories, what Google will do then is allow you to select services underneath each one of those categories. See, the name of the game here is what you're going to be doing is the way I see it is these will become my service pages on the website that I connect to this Google business profile. So since this is going to be my primary category, this is going to be my homepage. It's going to be all about junk removal services. I'm going to write content about junk removal services in general, create pages under the category of junk removal service. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a service page for demolition contractor, a service page for demo debris removal service, another one for house clearance services. This is for property cleanouts, eviction cleanouts, estate cleanouts, waste management services, and garbage collection services. So in a way, Google's basically giving me a blueprint on how I should structure my website just based on the categories that I have selected. So once I've selected these categories, now I have my Google business profile with all these additional categories. Then I have to go in there and add services under each one of those categories. And then what you have to do after that is create a description for each one of those services. And this is going to be tedious. This is going to be boring. Before AI, I used to spend hours and hours and hours pecking at my keyboard, writing all these descriptions. Now with ChatGPT or any AI you use, it's going to work easily. Let me show you guys the prompt that I use. And I'll leave this prompt in the description below so you guys can use it when you guys do this for yourself. Uh, but in a nutshell, I just say I'm going to need help updating my Google business profile service descriptions. I'm going to provide you all the categories that I've selected and the services listed under each category. For every service, I will give you the name and your job is to write a clean, professional description. Here's what I need from you. Stay within the 300 character limit for each service description. Get as close as possible without going over. Include the service location, like the city you're going to do the, the service in, and every third service description so I don't look spammy. I don't put it in every single one. You know, junk removal Fresno, junk removal Fresno, appliance removal Fresno. I don't. I just don't do it. It just looks spammy. I just do it every third or second. Uh, so this is the instructions that I give it. I tell it to write a professional tone, keeping it friendly, and I always tell people, tell the ChatGPT or whatever AI I'm using to write at a sixth or seventh grade reading level. Because let's be honest, that's the reading level we all kind of just gravitate towards. And I've learned that from writing copy and learning from copywriters over the years that that's kind of where you got to write 
your levels easy to read. Everything should be clear, simple, and easy for customers to understand. You already know everything about Google Business Profile, so I'm focused on write, writing description that'll help me rank that business profile. So here you're going to see this is junk removal primary category. You're going to see another category for demolition. You're going to see another category for debris removal, another for, for house clearance, another one for waste management, and another one for garbage collection. And then what ha ends up happening is I'm going to need to create a service underneath each one of these right here under these, each category. You see all these right here. And here's the crazy thing. This gives you plenty of content to write on a website. And the more you match your website to what you have set up on your Google business profile, the better your rankings are going to do with that Google business profile, especially pushing it into that three pack of Google. So you can see I've selected all of these services under junk removal, right? And I've selected all of these services under demolition, interior demolition, landscape preparation, scrap metal. You see what I'm saying? You got to, you got to think a little bit, you know what I mean? You got to get creative on how you're going to structure each one of these services under each, uh, category demolition i would have got debris removal construction debris removal donated goods pickup house and garage cleanouts yard debris storm debris demolition debris roof tear off debris concrete house clearance hoarder clean out eviction estate move out garage you get the idea right and this is across for every business and anybody's doing any kind of home service or anything like that so then when i go to chat gbt i add in that prompt i just showed you guys it's in the description and then i just put in one service at a time, furniture removal, appliance removal, residential removal, and then it's going to give me all of the content to write on here. So you can see I did that right here, old couch removal, old mattress removal, box springs. So it's giving me all these descriptions right here, description, description. And then I just go in there, copy and paste, copy and paste one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. It's a little boring. It's a little tedious, but you can knock this thing all out in a few minutes. If you do all of these, take a break, we have a cup of coffee or have a beer, or whatever you want to drink, come back and just keep doing it over and over and over. And you fill this thing out completely, you know, probably within an hour and get it all taken care of. So then once I have that Google business profile, all those descriptions set up, now you see how it's kind of previewing what eventually I'm going to do with this guy's website is going to restructure it and possibly rewrite some content and add additional pages to his site in order to match the Google business profile and all the services that he does. So there you have it. It's pretty easy nowadays to set up and fix up that Google business profile that Google, Google gives you for free. It's just with the help of ChatGPT or Claude or any of these other AIs. I'm sure there's going to be different ones as time goes on. It makes it easier than ever just to fill that thing out and get it all done within an hour. Like I said, I used to do this. It used to take me hours and hours helping people to do this, but now it's a piece of cake. And that's the prompt that you guys all have in the description. You guys can check that out and help you whip that thing out in no time at all. So if you're a local business contractor, home service that's looking to get a website set up, get your Google business profile cleaned up or rank better on Google, I can help you do that. Just go to the description below. I'll give you some pricing on my websites, my SEO and all that good stuff. If you're a business owner who thinks you can do this kind of stuff for yourself, build out your website, fill out your Google business profile and rank the stuff on yourself. I have uh, some training underneath there as well. I have like a little school group where I show people exactly how to build out their own website, just exactly the way that I do it for business owners. I have my templates, chat GPT prompts, everything to help you write the content, get everything structured out and get it all dialed in. Everything's in the description below. And if you guys want to learn any more of my SEO stuff, I'm going to put some links here for a video here and a video there. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Till next time.